This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, three hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets in negative territory, but we're off of the lows by a dramatic fashion. Right now, S&P is negative by 16 points, trading at 2870. You get the NASDAQ negative by 33, trading at 79.10, and the Dow negative 151 points, trading at 25,815. Notes and bonds, slightly higher price, lower yield, 10-year note up 5 ticks, 123.29, 30-year bond up 7 ticks, 148.14. We got gold up about $3, trading at 12.84.50. Oil, negative 50 cents at 61.64. And the dollar index, negative 153 ticks, trading 97.235. We'll start it off. Let's take a look at the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. So quite a run. 11.20 this morning, we'll call it the lows. 25,501. We're now up more than 300 points from that level. You have the Dow approaching being down 500 at one point, now only down about 150, with the Dow trading at 25,807. Looking at those June futures. NASDAQ 100, pretty close to the same. We've actually made it back to where we were prior to 8 a.m. this morning, 75.92. That is a solid 110 points in the NASDAQ 100 from where we were at 10.30. S&P's 28.70, lows of the session, 28.36. So you're talking about 34 S&P points from that low. Crude oil trading pretty much in line with the markets early this morning, trading 62.19. We make it down to a low of, we'll get there, $60.92. We're now up almost a dollar from that level, trading 61.80. Gold contract volatility as well. Gold trading 12.84. We had made it up to 12.89. And natural gas. We got inventory numbers this morning, pretty much in line with expectations. You have natural gas trading 258.97. In terms of what else you have happening out there, some of the movers and shakers. We'll put this as a weekly. How about at least a daily for? Lyft, Lyft struggling again yesterday, quite a run. Lyft trading 54.79. Uber will be pricing tonight. They'll be starting trading tomorrow. Quite a number there. Some of the other ones, the chip sector getting hit down 5% Intel on that daily basis. And how about stamps.com? Down 54%. And look at that daily. 200 and so $285. Back then, pretty remarkable. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien, all this afternoon. Have a great Thursday.